everyone, welcome to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, paint along with me, rid your world of unpainted models, because that's the fun part about Painting with Jay, is you paint along with me, you get stuff done, and then you feel great about the amount of stuff you did, and that's just the best part about it. So today I'll be working on a Canoptex Scarab, not Scarab, a spider. It's gonna be a lot of fun to paint up. I'm working still on my Necrons, they're coming along well. I think they're coming along quite well, but uh, it'll be some fun. So I'm gonna paint him up today, and get him ready for battle reports and talk about my week and see, just discuss life. So grab a brush, paint along with me. Let's get some work done. Hey everyone. So today I'll be painting up this kind of tech spider. And right now I'm just currently taking a large brush and painting some lead belcher onto uh, the model. My color scheme is very simplistic. It's almost the codex color scheme. So it's black, metallic, so it's silver, right? Uh, some gold wherever it needs to be, green. I'm not too crazy like with color schemes with Necrons. They're not an army that really, you know, for me, if you don't want to paint them too crazy, you don't have to. And I don't mind. Like I, I just want to keep my army relatively simple, get it done, and uh, have one army that's kind of the easy one to paint. And it's been a lot of fun painting it up because it's... Today is the last week of today's the last week of January, right? Today's January twenty eighth, and the videos this week have been pretty good. I have gotten my videos relatively on time. Uh, battle report went up today, earlier in the day, and so this might be put up tomorrow, Friday. We'll see. But uh, battle report went up earlier. It was cool. Uh, it was myself, of course, versus Dave playing Adeptus Sororitas, and I was playing my Garot Tank army. It was a lot of fun. Great game to play. You'll go check it out. I think you'll love it. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to play. Um, a couple things I wanted to try out in it. I'm trying different music now. I'm trying to progress my battle reports. I'm doing that through a variety of ways. Um, I put in an order today for the, uh, the, the other Citadel Realm of Battle Table, the city one. And I'm excited to get that. And I'll paint that up probably next month tutorial for the warp and then I'll you know the following month I'll be held, I'll have a battle table a city one and that'll make my battle reports look really look nice and the reason why I went with those over the the mats is because I got a good price on it and I also want to differentiate myself from the rest right and the rest are using mats and I want to use a city table that way it makes it look amazing like it, it looks so nice so I just want to get that into my battle reports to make better battle reports for you Another thing that I want to do is increase the the, um, the variation of my armies. So, yeah. So I'm going to start mixing up my lists more, and, and I'm, I'm adding to my armies this year. You know, this will be a year where I add to my orcs, my tyranids, my vanilla marines are going to get added to. Probably everyone but dark angels right now. I'm pretty content with the majority of my dark angels. I focused on them a lot recently, so I'm probably going to take a chill from Dark Angels for a bit. Nec uh, Necrons are my current one, and then my next army is either... I'm going to either add to my Vanilla Marines, because I have a few lists right now, but they're mostly using you know Dark Angels, which is okay, but I want to get as many you know Vanilla Marines in there as possible, obviously. And so I want to eventually build a battle company and then get a bunch of free vehicles, you know, for the points for my vanilla marines. And then the other option for next month, which I'm thinking of going with the other option because I think it'd be fun to do after done with my neck runs, is going um, ad mech. So I have a combination right now of Colt Mechanicus and Skitari guys, and they're not painted. Right, they're not painted at all, but, um, man, am I, I gotta focus more, I'm talking too much or something, but, um, uh, yeah, he's gonna look okay, so, yeah, I'm thinking of doing a combination of Skatari and Cult Mechanicus. I so far have 500 points of each about. Very little is painted. 
I have like one Castellan robot painted. But it could take me about six weeks probably to get them all done. I'll probably order a couple more. The question is, should I order a couple? I was thinking about ordering maybe one more uh, start collecting Skatari box. Because that'll give me three Doom Crawlers, which would be fun. It's not the most competitive, but it'd be fun to run. Three squads, you know, troops. Um, and then three HQs for my, my Cult Mechanicus. And then for Cult, I want to order the troops as well. The guys with the, uh, the plasma gun versus, or grav cannon ones. I'll definitely go grav cannon, I think. I think it'd be more fun for grav cannons. Because they're just nasty. Um, and then I go like two squads of them. So I could, I could have a pretty good sized army built up in a few weeks. All right, I could build them. Uh, I could build them pretty quickly. I really could. Take a little while to paint, but obviously I have time, right? With these painting with J's, I could just do them over a period of probably six or seven weeks. I could put together a 1500 point list pretty easily. Of one or maybe both. Or maybe a combination of the two. So. I think I might do that next. The other option is painting some... So like Razorbacks. I still have a bit more Vanilla Marines left to do. So, which other one I do next, you know, the other one will be following. So, probably by the end of March or April, I'll have those two armies done in the short term. Space Marines, you know, my Vanilla Marines will have a bunch more uh, updates. Or my models, you know, that I can paint. Or sorry, that I'm going to paint and I'll play with. Like I have a Terminator squad I want to paint up and I'll pick up a Stern Guard squad or a Vanguard squad. And then get a bunch of free drop pods for everyone else. Or, yeah, some stuff definitely I need to paint up. So this is the year of painting. It's going to be another year of just solid painting and not even, you know, I can't believe how much work I've already gotten done. It's only January, right? And I've already painted... Uh, so far this year, I've painted tw uh, 10 Retribution guys for my friend Andy. Um, I've touched up, like, I, I finished building because there were a couple guys that I just didn't build due to, um, I was waiting for their, to see what weapons, but I, I, I added weapons to the Triarch Stalker, and I, I added weapons to a squad of Wraiths, or at least I had one gun to a squad of Wraiths. And then I painted up a squad of Tomb Blades, a squad of, rip, of uh, Death Marks, and a squad of uh, Immortals. So already, things are looking pretty good. You know, it's been a good year so far. And then I'm really hoping February is full of hard work too. Now I am starting, I'm working a lot of hours coming up. And I'm going to intentionally work a lot of hours. I'm basically working seven days a week between my other two jobs. I haven't quit my other job. I started a new job. But I haven't quit my old one until I get a good feel for the new one. I don't want to quit prematurely. In case it's just not for me, right? So I have an agreement with my, my old job that if I take the crappier shifts, they'll let me work one or two shifts a week. Providing I help them out when need be, right? And that's what I'm doing. So, starting tomorrow, I think I work the next nine days, which is going to be tough. It's going to be a bit tiring. But I've done that before. Like, I did that when I worked at Mini Wargaming years ago. I worked many, many days in a row, like 40 in a row. And you do it. You just, you, the key is just turn off your brain and kind of do it. And then obviously on the side, I'll be working on my videos and, and stuff. I don't think my new job will be as physically tiring 
to my old one, so that's good. Look at that, we're basically done with metallics. Not that many silvers, I'm just gonna make sure I touch it up. And yeah, I should really touch up that back part. We're eight minutes in. Wow. That's the amount of Necrons, it's not too hard to paint if you go a relatively easy color scheme. So they're a great army if you're like, if you want to feel like you've painted a lot, definitely go Necrons. It's snowing out really, it's snowing a lot, like we're getting a blizzard as we speak, so I'll have to go shovel the driveway later. Which I don't mind, my back's been really off this week though, so I'll make sure to pop a back pill. Unfortunately, my wife just doesn't want to do it, which I don't blame her. And uh, so, it's what I have to do, it's one of my chores. You know, it happens. I should do the three metal parts there and face. And I'll do a shade. If I run out of stuff to do, I might have to just assemble stuff. Maybe I'll assemble a little bit during this video as well. I didn't really think about that. I didn't. Uh, the only thing is with one thing to do, once I hit a shade, the shade will take a little while to dry. So maybe I'll assemble stuff. In the meantime, do I have any other guys to work on right now? I'm like, yeah, maybe him. Anyway, it's been a good week. I did a live show earlier today. Uh, I intentionally started earlier than I normally would because I wanted to take advantage of the, the time zone it is in Europe and Britain. Because the problem is with my normal live shows, if they're in the evening for us in Canada, it's in like overnight time in, in Britain and Europe. And then Australia, it's usually good because they're about, you know, like a dozen hours ahead of us. So it's good for them. You know, as I said, but the, the problem is then the viewers in Britain and, and Europe really want to be a part of the live shows as well. That's cool. Like, I'm really happy that I have you know, viewers all around the world. And I want it then for them to be a part of my live shows. So I'm gonna I intentionally, you know, film some live shows um, earlier in the day when I have the opportunity so that they can actually be a part of them, right? Makes sense. Non oil. Need a little more non oil, because it's gonna be a it's even necrons. Get used to spending all your money on non oil and metallics. dropped it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been a pretty good week for work. Uh, this week's painting tutorial in the warp is uh, Madrak Ironhide. He's a warlock for uh, hordes, for troll bloods. He was really cool to paint up. Only my third Trollbloods tutorial for the warp. So he uh, he was fun. I'm gonna definitely do more Trollbloods in the future. They're a really cool army to, to paint. They are. They're very Scottishy, you know, very Celtic. So Celtic. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? Yeah, I, uh, the battle report coming up. I try to I'm trying to progress my battle report, so I'm gonna try some stuff, new stuff over the next little while with battle reports. You know, I'm slightly different angles filming. I'm trying out new music today, different songs that I normally would, and also um, I'm trying out different song per army. So each army gets their own song, and it switches with each turn. With you know, orcs get their song, adeptus sororitas get their song. So once it becomes the Adeptor Sorosa song, their song takes over. And I wanted to do a contrast. I, want, I intentionally wanted to do a little contrast in the songs. So the Orc song is really fast and aggressive, and the Adeptor Sorosa song is very slow and, like, soothing and and very, like, organ-filled. Because, you know, Adeptor Sorosa are, are the nuns. So... Yeah. 
So we'll see. Hopefully people like it. I'll see. That's the thing. My goal is to progress my work. It's been st kind of stalled with the same quality for a while. And I want to make it better because the better it is, hopefully the more people will watch and like it. And that's it. My goal is to do this eventually for a living. And it, I can't... You got to progress yourself if you want to actually advance, right? You can't just put up the same quality or less quality. Ah, I guess some people do, but I'm not going to go into who. But um, if your quality is already, you know, top notch, you don't have to worry about that, right? And I'm not saying mine is top notch by any means, but I'm going to make mine better. So that way it uh, just looks better, sounds better. Making it look better through terrain, better army, more, uh, different armies. Now Necrons will have their, their decurring detachment. And it's now the point where I have three, I have three auxiliary formations after next week. Next week I'm going to be painting a Catan shard for my uh, painting tutorial. And then I'll have three different detachments for the auxiliaries. And I really want to get the, um, the destroyers. That is the next attachment I really want to get. So maybe I'll order a couple more destroyer boxes and the Captain Destroyer Dude kit. So look at that. So we're 12 minutes in, or 15 minutes in now, and I've already hit a standstill. I could probably start doing the edging, but uh, yeah, it's gonna, I'll probably should let it dry for a second. All right, so I'm going to take some time off well, during this painting with Jay and just do some assembly for maybe next week's painting with Jay. So I'll work on, yeah, that will guy will dry for a good 10 minutes, and I'll do some assembling. So you get to see me assemble. I'm assembling some tomb blades at the moment. Excuse me. So. <coughs> but the Decrean's done, and that's good. So I, I actually can play a Decrean detachment right now. Um, in fact, I, I'm... I might, I, originally I could have had a battle report today, but it, it fell through, but it was okay. But when I was thinking about the battle report, I was like, wow, I can actually get a Decurion off the ground in a couple of different ways. The biggest challenge is I actually have 60, uh, I have 60 warriors. And it's hard to get 60 warriors into a list. Like, I can't go really horde ne Necrons because it's just points kind of run out eventually. Not eventually, very quickly, actually. 11, 13, no, 13, 11. So, uh, most of my lists have like 30 warriors. Instead of, uh, you know, I'd really like to try 60 warriors one day. 60 warriors with just a bunch of resorbs. Let's see if I can get that into it. It's hard for a 1500 point list. I don't see that, think that would be possible. If you want to run to Korean, right? Because then you have to run the. Reclusi, uh, the Reclusium Formation, whatever it's called. No, not Reclusium, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. Reclaimer. Mm, forget what it's called. Uh, whatever it's called. That one, you know. And the core, the core formation. And then you have to take one auxiliary. And the cheapest auxiliary is like 65 points, I guess. I don't have it, but it's a squad of flayed ones. So, let that dry. It's okay. I'll do some assembling with Jay while we're, uh, most people are just painting along anyway, right? They don't actually watch. They just listen to me rant and paint along and get work done. So let that dry for a few minutes. Probably about five minutes, it should be okay. I'll assemble stuff in the meantime. Um, which is what I usually do anyway, right? When I'm waiting, waiting for stuff to dry, I either paint other things or I assemble. That way the time isn't wasted. I really like the Necrons. I'm going to play some with them. I think they're a fun army. Incredibly survivable, so. Yeah. Now where's my glue? There it is. I'm excited to get the new Citadel table, which I've done with, by the way, I should mention that the funds from the Citadel table have basically all been from Patreon. I've been putting aside a chunk every month of my Patreon support for things that I want to invest in. And there's several things I'm going to be investing in. 
uh, one of which is a table, of course. And I'm really excited to get that thing. It's going to be so much fun to paint it and then to use it. It's good. They look amazing. So I hope that they translate well into battle reports. It's going to be great. So I'm excited for that. That'll be my first upgrade of the year. Eventually I want to upgrade my audio. Not for battle reports, but for my videos otherwise. Um, because the acoustics of my new office isn't as good as my old office. And a microphone would really help. So I got to film a Q&J again. I haven't filmed a Q&J in a couple weeks. Yeah, got to film a Q and J. Maybe tomorrow, Q and J will be up. And now I'm just chopping stuff off the sprues while the spider dries. I really like the Citadel thin plastic glue, but it always leaks. It's one of those bottles that just keeps leaking. So you gotta work quickly with it because it just drips and drips. Really looking forward to the death, uh, the Deadpool movie. It's coming out soon. Oops. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. It's weird that they're doing a, I guess because it is the movie is about cancer, right? Like the character Wade Wilson is is plagued with cancer, so there's been a lot of um, there's now a Deadpool campaign for cancer awareness for men. That's kind of cool. It's a really, for an R-rated movie, you know, it's just, it, most people when they see an R-rated movie, they don't think it's a, it, there's any seriousness to it. Or it could be really serious, there's a lot of murder and stuff, but you know what I mean, it's, it, you know, especially like a Deadpool movie, right? It's going to be, it's going to be vulgar, aggressive, but fun, hilarious. And I think it's really cool that they're doing a, a campaign now for cancer awareness. There have been a lot of fun campaigns. A lot of things for this movie that have been really fun. Like the Halloween, there's a Halloween video where he was rallying kids in, co in costume. I hope the movie's good. I really do. Because it's been one of the movies that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a long time. And I really hope it's good. Because it, you know, there's a lot of pressure. Now, they have screened it a couple times. Apparently, like they, they did a test... Not a test screening. Uh, they basically invited fans in, in Los Angeles and New York to see what they said was unaired footage. And the unaired footage was basically the whole movie. Minus a couple you know, things that need to be fixed, like a couple minor things that need to be edited. And people loved it. So. That's probably a good sign. Of course, they were Deadpool fans, but the, this these days, if people disagree with something or think it's not good, they voice their opinion. So, they really do. So, mm 
Mm. How's it doing? Uh, still drying. That's coming along, the spider. Right? We did the metallics after that. I'll do a quick dry brush over the silvers. Start oh, layering the greens. Not even layering, just edge highlighting the greens. And then it'll be good. I will put up gold as well. They have the little gold symbols that I'll do gold after. I'll definitely have this spider done before next week's painting with Jay. And then probably these, these this squad that I'm currently assembling is going to be the, the painting with Jay squad for next week. And then my Catan will be painted up for the tutorial. And that's some good. I've already added like, this is hundreds and hundreds of points. So. And then I'm going to touch up a couple things over a couple weeks, maybe a week or two, and then I'm done Necrons. And then starting uh, the next thing, either Skitari or Space Marines. Hmm. My back is starting to act, uh, it's starting to hurt a bit. So we'll see if I want to go the whole length for the this painting with Jay. But I haven't painted much. Come on, dry. Dry. If I tell my thing to dry, it'll dry faster. Dry. Yeah. So it'll be drying. I'll work on the next step for my assembly. <laughs> then I'll put together the little Necron guy. So Gen Con, I haven't bought my ticket yet, I really should have, but uh, Gen Con's coming up, and apparently the hotel blocks, all the ones downtown booked up within an hour, like they did last year. The thing is, it's just so popular, it's hard to keep up with the, the demand, right? But the thing is, the hotel rooms are so expensive, they're like $1,500 American for some of these hotel blocks. For the room for like the five days, right? But even it's like twelve hundred dollars American. That ends up being like two thousand Canadian, almost with taxes and the exchange rate. The exchange rate is so weak right now. So I'll probably do what I did again last year, because some rooms will open up again. Because what they do is everyone double books rooms so that they can, you know. Some people pull out of the event. Some people uh, just don't need the room anymore. But I'm not going to get a hotel room at downtown again. I think I'm just going to drive again. I really liked, I didn't mind driving last year though, because the, the bus, the shuttle system was stupid. It was really stupid. So I'm going to just drive again. I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was a 15 minute drive. And then I can, uh, it'll be okay. I'll save some money, right? The less money I spend on hotel, the more money I can spend on miniatures and having fun. And by that point, if I'm working so many days in a row, I'll probably have a little bit of money. We'll see. My goal is to pay off a lot of debt in the next little while. That's one of my personal goals. Which I have been. I've been killing my debt, but it's been good. But uh, I need to keep paying it. Student loans especially. They add up quickly. There we go. Ooh, look at him. One done. 
check out my paint. It's been about 15 months of assembling. I think it's time to return. It should be relatively dry by now. Mm. It's good enough. Yeah, definitely good enough. For what I need to do right now, it's, it's good. So now I'll take some iron breaker, put these guys down for a little bit, return to assembling them later. Take a little bit of iron breaker, do a quick dry brush, and then start on the greens. And this guy's definitely going to be done way before next week. Which is good. I can start on the next thing. So you just do a quick dry brush, bring back some of the shine. Good. And then next I gotta do the greens, which will be fun. Probably just gonna highlight the legs, or do the edge highlight with the legs, and then airbrush. No, maybe we'll do the, the top of the body as well. Yeah, around the body and then do the vents like all these symbols around there with an airbrush green after I'll touch up the black areas later oops see it right there smudged before I'm done. Clean it up, make it look decent. Good. Done. So now we'll take some warp stone glow. Put on my palette. Keep going with the uh, edge highlighting. Well, start the edge highlighting, I guess. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of movies this year that are going to be really good. Deadpool, uh, The Suicide Squad, maybe Batman vs. Superman. There's another X-Men. I think there's a, like a Gambit. It's going to be a good superhero year. Um, another Star Wars, another called Rogue Squadron. I think this is going to be a fun year. i got to see some movies. Because uh, so now I'm gonna do is take the warp stone glow. Do an edge highlight. hand at a time. This is going to take a little while. I didn't catch it, but the X-Files, uh, whatever, it's, I guess it's just a, it's, it's going to be a mini-series. Premiered the other day, but people were upset because it was apparently delayed due to football. nerds were raging it happens right it's NFL playoffs right so the states make a lot of money the stations make a lot of money off it you can't and fortunately I don't know I, I may not have to look at the numbers but uh, I don't think the X-Files would bring in the same so that's unfortunate people are like I don't play football don't make me watch it I won't watch Scully and Mulder
a sports, it's un, you know, it's not predictably timed. There's always timeouts and stuff, so you always get delays. I'm just gonna get more of my palette. I need more Warpstone Glow. I may need to go pick up some tomorrow or Saturday. I am definitely out. My color scheme, you definitely need it. I'm excited to paint up a Catan. Just the Nightburner. It's a cool model. So that'll be good. And that will give me the night bring the uh, you know the one formation is just bring a, a Catan shard right, one is the death marks and then the other one is the fast attack formation which I have that one too with this guy this guy's gonna complete that one, it's a squad of uh, wraiths a squad of spy of uh, scarabs and a spider so I definitely have that one. That's give, that gives me a few options, at least with my Decurion. Um, eventually, I really want to get I want to get the Destroyer one because the Destroyer one's pretty nasty as well. It's pretty fun. I just need three more Destroyers because I don't have six. And you have to have at least three squads of three. Um, except you need the Destroyer Lord, so I need to buy the Destroyer Lord kit as well. I'm looking forward to Orktober, as I'm going to call it. This, I think I might dedicate all of October to Orcs. We'll see. But it looks like a huge amount of guys are coming from North America to come visit. Well, not to come visit me, per se. Uh, it's come visit Mini Wargaming, and then they're going to come see me as well. Like they normally do, like Cody Rue, and Mike, and Brent, probably, and, and uh, James, John, uh, Ben. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hugh. Drew, Drew Ski, right? All these guys are gonna come and and hang out for a day here, and then um, so I'm kind of losing my voice because I did my live show, um, and then uh, then I'll probably go down with them in the mini war gaming. I'm thinking maybe for a day or two. That's 10 months away, right? So if I work hard for the next 10 months, I deserve a couple days off. I really do. That's gonna be fun. And they're already talking about it. Like it's really cool. Cody was already booked his hotel and it's it's awesome. And Cody Roo might be watching this video. So if you are Cody, I can't wait to see you again. I always look forward to my Cody Roo visits. Him and I are, are good friends. I love playing games against him. Now I probably won't play film any battle reports, we've decided, because there's so many people like last year we only had like six of us and it was hard to you couldn't include everyone. So I'll probably do a series of uh, face offs. And it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe that'll be when a tournament happens. The eight of us doing mini tournaments. That'd be cool. Turning out. Not that many colors as I said, but it's gonna be 
few steps. Just ready to trim up the body. Yeah. Sure. And then I'll do the, the wiring and uh, I'll do the wiring and all the light sources via airbrush at the end. Off camera, I guess. Yeah, we're at 40 minutes, so. But life's good. I'm not complaining. It's been a good, productive week. It stays, it stays kind of calm before the storm. It's going to be busy next week. It really is going to be. Um, I'm going to get some videos filmed when I can. But it's going to be a busy week. Um, I think I'm working the next, at least the next 10 days. So... But obviously I don't work all the day and I can come home and film later on and stuff, but yeah. this after with uh, Mooch Green. And then do all the yellows after, or not the yellows, the, the glowing greens after. The very last thing I do will be the glowing greens with an airbrush. I love the live shows. They take a lot of energy out of me. It's cool. It feels good though to interact. I love the interaction. That's my favorite thing about live shows is the interaction by far. I'm going to keep doing them for sure. Because I love it. I love it. If I can't get to come see you people anywhere time soon, like obviously I'll be seeing people in Chicago uh, next, you know, in a couple months, Indianapolis halfway through the year, but that's it. Maybe I'll make a trip. There's a group down in Wisconsin that wanted to see me. Maybe one day I'll be able to come see them. Besides that, I don't have a lot of time for trips, right? I'm too busy working, working my butt off. So I would love the live shows is the interaction between people and... We all get together and just share, you know, some time. And I love that. It just, it feels so good to to have that interaction. It really does. I love answering comments as well, but it just doesn't feel the same versus a direct conversation. You know? It feels different, definitely. So much better to, to be able to directly come, you know, speak with people. And I'm really happy that I'm, I've been able to put aside the funds from my Patreon. I'm going to th send an email out to thank them very much because thanks to them I'm getting the Citadel table. And then I'll save up for a, an audio system and that's my next big purchase is an audio system. An audio system, a uh, microphone system. So I can improve the audio, and I'll be putting a little bit of funds maybe every month towards improving my armies, so that I can actually have more interesting battle reports with different armies, and you know, things are gonna be good. I think the future looks very bright, and I'm gonna keep positive and work my butt off this year. There we go. I think that's all the highlighting green I'm gonna do on this guy. Before I now I'll switch up to mood green, and then highlight up again. And I'll probably call it after that because we're at 43 minutes. And my back is starting to... My back has really been bad lately. It's unfortunate. nice. I like the, the second coat of green. Makes it look much more glowy. So this is mood 
screen. Yeah. Also, there's apparently new Wolfen models coming out. I saw them today. They look really nice. New uh, Space Wolf models. They're like close combat oriented Space Wolves. They look really cool. And I'm glad that Space Wolves are getting some love. Because they're a codex that, unfortunately, is not withstanding the test of time either. You know, they're not as bad as Orcs. Nothing's as bad as Orcs. For 7th edition codices, this, Orcs are by far the worst. But uh, they, they're weak relative to their Space Marine Vanilla and their... Uh, their Dark Angel counterparts. So, getting, them getting a new model really helps. That's cool. New models, more sales, all good stuff, right? It's nice to see them getting some love. I'm very curious where the next Codex is coming from for for 40k. Because, uh, obviously, spa uh, not Space Marine, uh, for Assault of... Uh, I'm going to stop talking in a second. Age of Sigmar. For Age of Sigmar... Um, the dwarves just got a what are they called fire something right now fire drink whatever you know their new name they're not dwarves anymore because dwarves isn't copyrightable but the dwarves just got a codex update I'm gonna clean that up after so the dwarves are getting their update now who's the next for 40k I think it's Astro Militarum is my guess. Space Marines are all done. It's probably not going to be Sisters. So then there's it down to Chaos. Well, Chaos really deserve it, but I think it's going to be Astro Militarum based on the most recent things. But I'd love to see a new Chaos book. If it's a, if Chaos is the next book, I am a happy person because Chaos definitely needs a new Codex for sure. They shouldn't have to rely on demons just to be good. So, I hope they get a new book. Sorry, I keep hitting that. I'm wiggling the, the table. Good. So now maybe I'll do the... What time is it? 45 minutes? I'll do the golds. And then I will airbrush afterwards the... Uh, it's not a very complex color scheme. I'll clean up the back areas because there's a couple messes I made, just a couple lines I can clean up a little bit, paint the gold areas, and then uh, airbrush, and then call it a day because he'll look awesome. He'll have three color minimum. Definitely has more than three colors, so about four colors or five, but uh, he's going to look great. I match my other guys. And. Life will be good, and then he'll be he'll complete my third auxiliary uh, formation for my Necron Decrean attachment. Any time. So I'm going to take some red gold from Bleo Liquid Gold. I'll just cut it with some isopropanol. Pour a little bit in a cup so I can clean off the brush afterwards. Obviously never drink the isopropanol. By the way, uh, Adam, if you're out there in internet land, you m I think you missed a spot. So right now I'm just doing golds. And they're going to look good. Now 
clean out the black areas after and do my quick dry brushing, not dry brushing, airbrushing. And I'll have a spider. Yeah. Yeah, I really love lashes. I'm definitely gonna keep doing them. I'm so happy that I'm able to do them again. And they're slowly increasing in popularity as well uh, for me. Mine, I'm starting to get like 50 people at, uh, over the entire time, so that's been nice. You know? But yeah, I really hope, my goal, I would love to hit thir uh, 30K should be doable this year for my subscribers. But I was, I, I'm thinking of setting a goal like 40K and then maybe giving away a prize. I would really love to hit 40K subscribers this year. Maybe my new table and stuff will help me. Areas are done. So we're at 50 minutes. I'll probably call it here because I gotta let the gold dry and then touch up the some of the black areas that I made a little bit of mess on. Airbrush. It'll be good to go. This will be done probably tomorrow. And I'll start on the the Next week will definitely be, if I, if I, unless I get them done before that, there's even a chance I can get done the next guy. So if that's the case, I'll touch up a couple things or I don't know what I'll work on next week. We'll see. Yeah, so let's end. He's looking pretty good now. Look at that. Pretty good, but he's obviously needs a little work. And let's end here. So that concludes another episode of Painting with Jay. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Got a lot done. Had a great time. Listen to my rambling. Hopefully you're excited to see the Deadpool movie like I am. Look at him. He's coming along. I've been done in no time. So, yeah, I'm starting to look around and I'm starting to see a lot of empty space on my shelves and that makes me feel amazing. Can't wait to get them all empty and figure it out from there. So thank you as always for being a part of the discussion, for painting along with me, and for subscribing and supporting my videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting with me.